Our next reaction is another template synthesis, just like the malonic ester synthesis, and this is the acetoacetic ester synthesis. And in this case, we're gonna form a substituted acetone instead of acetic acid, uh, but that means it's always going to be a methyl ketone. So this is always used to form methyl ketone. And in this case, we're gonna start with acetoacetic ester, uh, similar to malonic acid, or sorry, malonic ester, but instead of being an ester on one side, it's got a ketone on one side. Uh, but the leaving group in our ester here is still OET, and so the base we use in step one is still gonna be an ethoxide base. Uh, and in this case, it's still gonna deprotonate one of our alpha hydrogens, so giving us an enolate, and that's gonna still attack in an SN2 reaction uh, when we add an alkyl halide in step two. And so now, net result is one of our H's has been replaced by R1. And we're gonna repeat that same sequence of steps over again. Sodium methoxide followed by another alkyl halide for steps three and four, and sodium methoxide is gonna deprotonate the other H right here. And then we'll do another SN2 reaction uh, with the enolate right after and replace it with the second alkyl halide. And so now we'll have added two groups there as well. Uh, finally, we're now gonna add some H3O plus, do hydrolysis, and again, all carboxylic acid derivatives, including our ester here, turn into carboxylic acids when you hydrolyze them with H3O+. So, and not only are we using H3O+, but we are also heating it up. So, and in this case, our carboxylic acid here, there's the alpha carbon and there's the beta carbon, and the beta carbon is a carbonyl. And so our carboxylic acid here is going to get decarboxylated upon heat treatment and beta decarboxylation, and that's gonna leave us with our final product obviously, as well as CO2. So that's the acetoacetic ester synthesis. And again, you are always going to end up with a methyl ketone uh, on one side, and you have a chance of replacing two of the alpha hydrons on the other side with R groups. And again, you don't have to do both. You could just do one instead of two, uh, but you have the option to do two.